Good time zone and new reality, everyone. My name is Vil here at Science Away, and today we're doing something a little different. This is a time lapse video because we're, today we are building the Hexbugs Vex Robotic, I think it's called the Crane. Robotic arm, excuse me, the robotic arm. That's right. So yeah, I had no idea that Hexbug made these kits. I just thought they did robotic bugs, you know, like their name implies, but they have some Vex robotic stuff. So we're gonna be building that today. This is my first Vex robotics thing, I believe. And last time I had a set like this, cause notice it's not Lego. It's, it still has a bunch of holes and little parts and bits and there's a wheel looking thing and other various parts. So I had kept like this once before from some other company. I think it was from Barnes and Nobles, but this will be my first one from Hexbug and it looks pretty big. Like this is a pretty big box. It's eight years and up and there's how many pieces did it say it was? 380 pieces. That's a lot of pieces. And difficulty is five. So, and manual pages is six. We're gonna have a lot of fun building this. So just wanna make sure you can see the box okay. And let's go ahead and just get started. Oh, wait, before we get started, I'm not sure if you can see it on the box here, but right here, it was winner for the Toy of the War. I'm gonna put it up close so you can see it. And hopefully that works, but yeah. And even on the back here, it just says how tall it is. If it's correct, if I'm correct in my thinking, it's 14 inches tall, 10 inches wide if the arm is all the way extended. You can rotate 360 degrees, and you can close and open the claw. So I'm excited to build this and see how big it is. So let's go ahead and get started building. It's a time lapse, so there is no music, but it is sped up, and I'll let you know how long it took after the fact. So let's go ahead and get started with that.
it is done! As you can see, it's pretty big! And, my goodness, this took me about 4 hours and 36 minutes, so not too long, not too bad. It was about 11 o'clock at night when I finished. At 10 o'clock, I was supposed to make smoothies, so I was like, I'm sorry everyone that smoothies are late, but I finished the crane! Or the robotic arm is called, I keep calling it crane. It's a robotic arm, but I finished it! And this was really fun to do. It wasn't too difficult. There were some times I would see a part and be like, okay, you need to make four of them. So I think they look all the same. I'm going to make all four parts the same way, where it would be slight differences. For example, on the legs, you can see there's some parts that are connected up top, and there's some parts that are connected on the bottom or underneath this yellow dome here. So I didn't see that, so I built the parts slightly differently. So it was a few things like that, but other than that, it wasn't too bad. It, even though it was difficulty five, it was really fun to build. It wasn't too hard for me. And I had a lot of fun building it. And I did it all straight. I sat there the entire four hours and 36 minutes and just built this straight. We already had dinner, so I had to worry about stopping and eating. Wait, no we didn't. I had to stop and eat dinner. But I wasn't gonna stop and make some food. I was like, I'm really close to finishing. It's 10 o'clock. I'm almost done. This movie's gonna be late, but I'm almost done making this. And it's finished like an hour, 30 minutes later. But it was so worth it because this, like I said, not only is it fun to build, but it works really cool. So let me show you what it does. So it turns 360 degrees in a circle. And you can just spin it like a disc ball. You may hear this clicking. That's because there's parts underneath. There's like little connectors and there's a plate under it. So it is getting caught on that, but it won't stop you from turning it or moving it. It may get caught sometimes. You can just easily like tilt it a little bit and then spin it and you're good to go. So yeah, that works really well. Then what we have here, we have two knobs. Let's turn it this way. You have two knobs right here. It's the left for me, but it'll be the right for you. This one raises and lowers the crane. This is, this is, as, is as high as the crane can go. And we just keep turning the knob here. These are, there are these little gears, which are really cool. This is as low as the crane can go. So it won't pick up, pick up anything off the table right here or anything that's like level with it. But if something like a, like a water bottle or a soda can or an action figure, doll, whatever, a stuffed animal, it'll pick it up as long as it's tall enough. And let's bring it back a little bit. And then we have the, again, right knob for me, but it will be the left for you. As you're watching the video, in real life, it'll be the right for you as well. We have this knob right here, which brings the crane forward. And let's turn this. See, it's caught right now, but I'm just going to turn it. I almost hit the wall. <laughs> this is as forward as the crane can go. So it leans all the way forward, and that's pretty much it for that direction. And then we can go this way as well. And that's about as back as it will go. You know, it's pretty much against gears right now. It gets its own frame. So I wouldn't recommend going too, too far back. But, you know, with combination, if you combine them, you know, with as forward as it will go and as low as it will go, it still will not reach the bottom of this table where it's level. But like I said, if you have like a water bottle, a stuffed animal, an action figure, or dolls, or whatever, then it'll grab it. You know, it can almost grab my hand if I put my other hand right here. It can almost grab it. So... Yeah, and that's really fun. And speaking of grab grabbing, let's bring it back a little bit. You have this knob right here. This is what you use. Let me turn it. This is what you use to control how to open. I was going to say how wide or how close the hand is. Or you can just, you know, how open and close the hand. So it closes, you can just, you can also hold it too, you can see it, it's scrunching up a little bit because you're trying to close it more, but it won't. So this whole mechanism is like bringing, being, being brought up. But, so you can just hold it if you want and you know, move it. And if you don't want to drop something, just turn the other way. So to close it, it's clockwise, and to open it, it is counterclockwise. So I have to figure out how to do this on camera because it'll be backwards for you. So. 
This is clockwise for all of you watching, so clockwise is to close it, and counterclockwise is to open it. So I'm doing the motions backwards on camera, so it will be the correct way for all of you watching, but it's, you'll, if you get this product, you know what I'm talking about, but you can open it really wide. I'm not sure why you would never open it this wide, but you can open a whole 180 degrees flat line. Actually, it's a little more than 180 degrees, like a, yeah. I'd say like, uh, almost like 200, 190 degrees. I know it's not really a thing, but it's going a little past the 180, so it's not completely flat, it's a little more like this, but I technically you start going back the other way in degrees, but either way. So yeah, this was really fun to build, I definitely recommend it, it's a fun project. It took me four hours and three six minutes, but please tell me in the comments below how long it took you. I want to know, like, what's the record time this has been built in? And if you've used it for anything, I want to see. Send me some pictures on Twitter. That would be really cool. And I, like I said, I definitely recommend this product for anyone who's into building or just manual machines, like this robotic arm. And just something really fun, because not only is building it part of the product, but then you have something that you can use in, like, you know, when kids play make believe, or you're just playing with some friends. Then you have this crane, so if you have a construction site, or there's a lot you could do with this. You could definitely use it in a lot of different place settings, or even making your own stories with it. So I definitely recommend that there's a lot you can do. And maybe you can automate it. I don't know. If any of you have modified it or automated it so where you can use it on your Android or iOS device or if it's ARC, then I want to see that because I would love to know how to do this. So please, in the comments below, let me know because that would be amazing if I could, if I could be able to make this in RC. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one. And the link will be in the description below where you can go get this. It's from Hexbug again. It is on their website. They have other Vex products as well. If there are any products from Hexbug or just any products in general that you think I should try and review, then again, in the comments below. I want to see more products like this and others like it because products are fun. And I'm going to test them out so you can know whether they're worth it or not. Anyway, I'll see you all later. Bye! <laughs> Shut the table. Bye! <laughs>